Episode six ends with her getting thrown in the trunk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and you've been trying to say, watch what you're doing, be careful, you're doing too much. Right, 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 but she ain't listen. She didn't listen. She ain't listen. How'd you feel about her being thrown in that trunk? It actually felt good. For, I, I, it felt good for a minute. Oh, it, it felt good? Yeah, because she had some bad okay. judgment. Okay. She had some bad see, judgment. See, y'all, you see what I'm dealing with? What up, y'all? It's me, DR from the D, and this is the DR from Detroit After Show. Today, we have a very special, legendary guest on the couch. Some of you may know him as Ricky from the Hood. Other of you guys may know him as Lance Sullivan, who is all about God, family, and football. But on our show, you know him as the very smooth, very sexy, and completely annoying Francois Bricklin. What's up? What's up? What's, what's up? up, Mr. Morris Chestnut? How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Welcome. I'm doing, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. OK, so you're booked and blessed and busy. So yes. you've been all over the place. OK, uh-huh. But are you Move. ready to step back into DR's world? I am definitely ready to step back into the art world. <laughs> as long as you don't wear that corduroy velvet. If you don't have that corduroy wow. velvet, then I'm in. But you got that, I gotta go. The wow. car's running. The, the shots go. are fired. It is denim velvet. Why are you jealous of this very smooth look? Is, is it a smooth look? <laughs> <laughs> so episode six opens up with strong film noir vibes as Marshall's notebook sort of plays out in Diara's head. The notebook has just enough to keep Diara's flame lit, and she decides to double back to some key players in Zervis's alibi, our beloved strippers, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. see if their story still holds up after all these years. On the other side of things, the chemistry between Diara and Danger is becoming less of a mystery, and they are now engaged in some kind of full-fledged, emotional, sexless, <laughs> <laughs> sexless something or other. This episode mm -hmm. is so layered, mm -hmm. and I love mm -hmm. it. So before we get into all of this, which we will unpack, what is your favorite scene in the episode? I have a couple, actually. I love the opening of this, to having the detective, and you have that circular moving around. Mm -hmm. It takes a flashback. That's that's I, revolutionary. I hadn't seen anything like that in television before. And then I love the stripper scene, where you were reading, and then you kind of went back in. That was, I think it's incredible. Thank you. I love that stripper scene, too. What I really loved was it was a lot of people working together in collaboration. The background actors in that scene, they all had to stay still right, right, for right, right. all that time. And, and in the production meetings, people thought, there's no way people are going to be able to do that. There was someone on the pole that was still. And listen, some of it was helped out with VFX. OK, OK, but, I But Miss Lady on the pole? That was not movie magic. Oh, really? That so was she really magic did it. City. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I don't have the core strength. I have nothing but respect for her. We oh. love you. One other thing I really loved about that scene is the OJ verdict of it all. Uh -huh. You know, when we were in the room, we were talking about why would people remember the day Deontay went missing? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it seemed really fun to play with a day that everybody has some kind of memory of from mm -hmm. one way or another. I just think. There's something very funny about watching the verdict in the strip club. Do, do you remember when the OJ verdict came down? I do. I wasn't in the strip club, uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> where were you? I was actually at home. I was actually at home when it when it came down. But you know, me being in Southern California, I mean, it was even more of a victory for us mm -hmm. because of everything that's always gone down from the Rodney Kings and just the injustices that getting pulled over by the cops and all the things from moving from Boys in the Hood. You know, we were so we were really really happy here in LA. So within that strip club scene, Diara narrates one of my favorite lines from the episode. Sometimes it's the things that people don't say. That are way more important than the things they do. There is a lot to be said for the unsaid. I think that line is really true. A person can completely lie about something through the art of omission. Mm -hmm. What do you think Swa is omitting? There was a moment in episode six where Swa was in Diara's living room and he wanted her to come home. Yeah. And, and DR kind of asked for clarification, and he didn't repeat it again. He yeah. said it once. I think we omit things because we don't want to reveal our true feelings. We're protecting ourselves, protecting our feelings. And sometimes we're afraid how another person would react. I think he, he doesn't want to hurt DR as well. Mm -hmm. You know, he's maybe embarrassed himself, but he doesn't want to hurt DR. See, I think in that scene, when she's like, are you asking as my lawyer or my husband? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She feels she's trying to understand if he's trying to love her or if he's just trying to control her. And he doesn't answer. Well, why doesn't he answer, though? That's what I'm saying. That's a question for. Well, I mean, I mean, let's think about it. So he admitted it once. He said it. Mm -mm. He did. What does he say? I want you to come home. 
Yeah, but as what? Because what he's lawyering does that make? her. But what difference does that make? Oof. Who's asking? My husband or my lawyer? Yeah, I don't want to fight. No, I'm... You never want to fight. Not for me. All we do is fight. You debate, you criticize, you control. And the difference is what? Heart. She was looking for him to fight for her, right? But in that moment, she really wanted tenderness, and he couldn't quite bring it because it's a strip club and a sex club, and, you know, he throwing all kind of shit in her face. She like... But, okay, so when she said that, what difference would it have made? If he had said, oh, my God. Would she, would she have where's gone? Where's the camera? Let if, me help yeah. you guys no, out. No, 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 because if he would have said, as your husband... Yeah. Then you're dropping everything. You're dropping milk, bo uh, <laughs> milk cart boy. You're dropping danger who's up in the... You're dropping all that. You or chestnut. No, you do realize no. that, right? <laughs> no, wait, I'm, I'm saying. Maybe. Maybe. But see, it shouldn't be a maybe. See, but that's why Schwa... But he that's didn't That's why he didn't it. put him... Because he didn't he say... He didn't it. say it. You had a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's true. You had a lot going but on. I do think sometimes nobody wants to be soft. Nobody wants to drop their defense and, and not have that met. But I do think in that moment, if he had said, baby, I'm asking as your husband, I love you. You need to stop doing all of this crap. I don't know. She she had to get. I don't oh, know. So, I don't know. Let me. Okay. But, one but more maybe. thing about this. We don't know. Another thing about this. So dangerous. It. So here's the interesting. And I love the casting. Love everything. With yeah, it. he's so great, right? It, yeah. It was a big contrast between Danger and Swa. Yes. Right. Yes. So the more emotional, the more like you say, you want to Swa just to plead his heart. The contrast just wouldn't work. Yeah, I I do think the character Diara picked you know, the right, the best guy, tall, handsome, suave, smart, all the things, moneyed. Mm -hmm. And it didn't work, it blew up in her face. And so I think like for the first time, she's kind of trying something else. Mm -hmm. She's okay. trying something different. Okay. You know, danger makes like a dangerous life kind of okay. Mm. Hmm. You know, and he heals her a little bit with mm -hmm. his pancakes and his affirmations. And his... No, great, great, it's a great character because yeah. you know, he's rough around the edges, but then he's making pancakes. Give him massages. <laughs> you should have been giving massages. You no, know, no, give him massages. Morris, it has been such an honor to work with you. Thank you so much for lending your talent and, and your time. Oh, thank you, thank you. Rookie. Hold on. Who's, the think... rookie? Who's the rookie on set oh, that left the bar? <laughs> uh, Dangerous Calling. Oh, wow. Well, all I have to say is y'all be sure to keep an eye on SWA during the rest of the season because I have a feeling that there's something more than we are seeing. Mm. Until next time, thank you so much, Morris. Thank you. Thank we you. Out. We out. We out. Peace. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>